the simplest aim here we take to perform the short time fourier transform analysis of a speech signal now to accomplish the task as we just now seen the aim of this particular program we require the input signal to be a speech signal so such a file that is having the speech signal information must be available into the matlab environment here once you have your matlab installed properly and most importantly with the signal processing toolbox so that time matlab is already having a file that is with the name mtlb so the dot format is dot uh, mat here it is the file format for the concerned file so it is having the speech signal the duration is of 4001 samples and these are sampled at 7418 hertz here so when such a signal is already there by the use of the signal processing toolbox into the matlab here the same can be used here so for using it and for getting it into our script as an input we can make the use of load syntax load command and after the keyword load we have to write the file name here so file name is mtlb originally it is dot mat having the format here it is the matlab data now once this particular file is loaded the total number of samples as i have just now talked about 4001 samples are there in this particular file so let us have the index variable generated or defined to hold all these particular sample index in here so let us start at 1 and end it at 4001 so the length of n is equal to 4000 starting at 1 to 4000 one here 4000 one is the length here so we end this syntax with the help of semicolon and we will like to show you we will like to display you how exactly this particular speech signal can be displayed graphically here so for that purpose we can make the use of plot command and to this plot command the inputs are to be provided so of course we can provide the input by the use of n minus 1 as the first input and then the file name itself here that it is mtlb so ending the line with the help of semicolon here now as this plot will display a pop up window separate matlab window here for that purpose the two axes of course will be made the use of so we should have nomenclature to this axis as well for the x axis we make the use of x label command so to the x label we provide the name within a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes here here we write time index simply we can write small n as we have already defined the symbol for similarly the another axis can be also provided the nomenclature here so this axis is y axis hence the syntax y label within a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes we will like to write the keyword amplitude or a magnitude here so i just make the use amplitude here now i'm ending this with the help of semicolon here so whatever the mtlb speech signal file is already present in our matlab environment that we are going to access and display through our script here for using the short time fourier transform analysis tool we can also operate it onto the another type of the speech signal also so for that purpose that particular file should be already available into your current folder into the current directory here that time you can load it from that particular source here now after this particular display we will like to have the short time fourier transform analysis again displayed into the same window so for that purpose what it was the input we have displayed then we can make the use of pause command here and now we shall operate the input 
with the help of the short time Fourier transform that it is called as STFT using the Hamming window with a specified length and a specified overlap of the samples between the consecutive window signals. So for that purpose again we require the two variables to hold the information. So this information is of course with respect to how much is the window length for the Hamming window and how much overlap of samples we desire for. So for that purpose here we accept the input from the command prompt here. Now for holding the information regarding the window length uh, let us use the symbol WL here in the small casing. So WL will hold window length here. Now the value can be assigned to it with the help of the input command here so it will take the information from the command prompt here so within a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes I just mention input the window length so this is window length equal to sign and space and ending the complete line with the help of semicolon here now we require the information with respect to how much samples you want to get overlapped by the use of this windowing technique for short time Fourier transformation here. So let us have the overlap information with the help of OV as the symbol here and the input command again can be made use to assign the value here. So within a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes we will write input the desired overlap desired overlap here here it is equal to sign and space here ending the line with the help of semicolon here now after getting this much of information now it's time to perform the short time Fourier transformation using the Hamming window of the desired window length and the desired overlap samples here so for the short time Fourier transformation the MATLAB syntax is here that it is spec gram either you can make the use of spec gram or newly it has been a spectrogram as well so to this MATLAB syntax spec gram here I provide the input speech signal file that it is MTLB so after loading it that particular variable associated to this file should appear into the workspace here along with we shall be providing the information with respect to the window length WL here and then we shall be providing the input value 7418 comma we are going to use the Hamming window so for having we write the keyword having here and provide the window length that it is by WL here and the overlap information by the syntax OV the symbol name here so this is what the script here so let us save the script here it was the untitled script here I just mentioned the name program underscore 8 underscore 16 dot m will be the file extension so yes here the name has been changed as well the file has been appeared into the current folder here we have saved the MATLAB script here now it's time to run the program here so for running the program you can either press F5 key or just click on to this run here so once we run this now here it is the pop-up window in MATLAB environment with figure 1 as its name here as I maximize this you can see clearly on to the horizontal axis as we have already provided the labeling to this particular plot here it is our input signal time index n here and onto the vertical axis amplitude here so as you see the horizontal axis right from 0 to 4000 we have in total 4001 samples here so if you click in between anywhere so that time you will be having the information regarding the x and y coordinate values here so if x here it is 
2992 the amplitude onto the y axis can be at the level 0.2108 here if you click somewhere else here x is equal to 1265 1265th sample out of 4001 it holds the amplitude of 1.365 here the highest amplitude in this speech signal here it is x is equal to 1239 and the amplitude level is 3.093 here whereas the lowest value of amplitude can be marked at x is equal to 1535 and the amplitude level minus 2.792 here so i just have this particular window explained to you people and now you can see at the bottom it is mentioned the pause keyword we have made into the use so same window of matlab will be used for the display after we process it with the help of short time fourier transform with the humming window here so press any key so that the required changes will be processed and further the output can be plotted into the same window here so i just press any key here so now it has taken me to the command window here so in the command window it is asking what window length you want to operate with for this matlab script so let us provide the window length that is of 200 and let us say 80 samples here and let us have the input desired overlap of 60 samples hitting the enter now now as i hit the enter you can see into the workspace there are five variables generated here we have fs then mtl be the file the dimensions you can check 4001 by 1 of the type double here n is equal to the variable that holds all the sample indexes here so it starts at 1 and up to 4001 again of the double type here then we have ov overlap value 60 that just now we have provided from the command prompt here and wl that it is the window length of the hamming window type here and it is of 280 samples here so as we just get back to the matlab figure here here it is i maximize now after having the spectral analysis of the speech signal with the help of the stft tool here here it is the plot so this is the information regarding the time and frequency contents here stft is a very popular tool that is not only not only providing you the frequency information but as well the time information and this is of course for a short of a short span here and afterwards of this stft we have all the analysis with the help of wavelet tool which is quite sophisticated one to provide both the tiling informations of the time and frequency details here so here you can see on to the horizontal axis the time is the parameter right from 0 up to 0.5 we have the different ranges marked in between and on to the vertical axis here we have the frequency values marked here so we start at 0 then 500 1000 1500 2000 2500 3000 3500 3, and beyond that one so this is what the spectral analysis with the help of the stft tool for the input speech signal 